Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. <clears throat> Sam I.B. DeGangi reporting for The Media Speaks. And uh, for all of you who wondered why you didn't get your live um, update, <clears throat> like the link said that you would for subscribers, it's because Google sucks ass, that's why. Um, I think it was um, <clears throat> Anthony Court that said Google cannot always be the one to cause a glitch. No, it most certainly can always be the one to cause a glitch. Um, it has timed me out twice, and every time it times you out, you can't go live on the link that you already told everybody to hit. So uh, Google is destroying the very best uh, website that ever lived on the Internet, and that would be YouTube. Um, however, thankfully, the HDEF is up and running, so uh, it'll take a second for you guys to know why you didn't get your live link. But, hey, what do you think of the new set? The new mic. All right. Um, I mean, uh, I'm being silly because the news I have is dreadful, friends. Um, I take the Fukushima work actually very seriously, and all of you know that. Um, when you uh, give me this responsibility, I get more views for this than anything else I do. Uh, I take this very, very seriously. I source everything. And I ask one major thing of you watching this. Share the video. No one's ever going to know I'm out here. And no one's going to get the information that you just got if you don't hit share. I'm just a guy talking into a mic, so please hit share. Um, PrisonPlanet.com. Americans drink Fukushima bottled water imported from Japan that's marked radioactive. Um, this was from uh, Mark Dice. You have to go and look at the video. He tells people that there's Fukushima bottled water. It says political prankster Mark Dice, who sometimes I agree with and sometimes I don't, offers, offers people cold bottles of Fukushima imported mineral water and that are clearly marked with large radiation symbols that he glued on the bottles to see if anyone would drink it without realizing the significance of the name Fukushima or realizing that the bottles were marked radioactive. It was shot in San Diego, California. Why am I leading off with that? Because that is the mindset of people. It's also why I uh, watch Mark Dice. I don't uh, watch him to pick on Nine Inch Nails, which I take personally. Um, Mark is able to show people how truly ignorant our country has become. And this matters because when something like Fukushima happens, you constantly have people whose eyes gloss over and they don't listen to very, very important things. Things like this. Fish testing at 124 times over the radiation limit caught off Fukushima. This is from RT. Fish with deadly levels of radioactive cesium have been caught off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture as scientists continue to assess the damage caused to the marine food chain by the 2011 nuclear disaster. One of the samples, it says, of the 37 black sea bream specimens caught some 37 kilometers south of the crippled power plant tested at 12,400 becquerels per kilogram. I mentioned that yesterday. To, to know what a becquerel is, uh, just go to yesterday's show. I explain it. Making it 124 times deadlier than the threshold considered safe for human consumption, uh, Japan's Fisheries Research Agency announced. Are, are, you, are you lost? Are you one of the Mark Dice people, or did you hear that? Did you hear 124? four times deadlier than the threshold for human consumption. And you got to remember that that's a threshold that they raised to an already unsafe level to try to keep the economy in that industry going at all. So, I mean, this is, is death with gills is what this is. The samples were caught at the mouth of the Natagawaga River in Iwaki Prefecture on November 17th. Two other fish caught were also tested non-safe for human consumption, showing levels of 426 and 197 becquerels per kilogram. The rest of the fish were reportedly within the safe limits. Yeah, safe limits to who? Um, I want to skip ahead and uh, move on to... I don't want to necessarily go over everything I went over yesterday in that article. But I do want to mention that the seafood that we're finding is coming in now with everything that they're getting off the Pacific Ocean is testing for some level of radiation that is uh, unsafe. You can't 
eat this and live a healthy life. It's impossible. So you take fish oil, do whatever you have to do, but quit eating fish. Um, Infowars.com, Paul Joseph Watson, PJ Dub, low flying homeland security helicopter to test for radiation. Now this this is questionable on a couple of fronts, and I'm going to say why. First of all, we have radiation monitoring. Uh, in the country to make sure that someone's not uh, bringing in a dirty boat or something and parking at our port or smuggling in nuclear weapons to set off in New York Harbor or something. We already test. Uh, Obama, and this is fact, this is not my opinion, go ahead and look it up. Um, Obama has not tested our food, or didn't test our food, right after the Fukushima disaster happened. And um, I, I mentioned this in the movie Bilderberg, Why It Mattered to Me. It's on the site. That, that they did no testing at all, zero zip zilch, none when we could have. And thirdly, it's cheaper to have a radiation monitor detecting than it is to have a helicopter in the sky. This is very much um, a way that they could hide it because it's in a helicopter, obviously. Um, it's not having as many people come in contact with the data. And uh, not to mention acclimating large numbers of people to having black helicopters in the sky. But that's another story. I'm going to read some of this and see what you think. Uh, using a helicopter for this? Uh, anybody got a reason? They, for people maybe are in aeronautics or whatever. Could you let me know why they would do this in the most complicated way possible? The Department of Homeland Security... Well, that is your answer. Has announced that it will begin periodically flying a large helicopter at extremely low altitudes over Baltimore for years to come to detect background radiation in preparation for a nuclear attack. Um, again, it's it is the other coast. So I mean, the way the jet stream works, it is possible to have Fukushima fallout on the east coast, but it's not at the at the extremely problematic levels. Let's remember there is no safe level of radiation. It is not at the ultra problematic levels that we see on the West Coast. It says beginnings this week, uh, this was uh, where are we? Uh, January 15th, the federal agency will use a massive helicopter for the Nas National Nuclear Security Administration to test for naturally occurring radiation by flying on an altitude of uh, just over 150 feet. Uh, let's remember that there was some uh, ambiguity about uh, nuclear weapons disappearing and being set off by uh, people within our government or people that are in our government at least knew of it, and it was stopped to some degree. You can you can see this in uh, reading even ABC stories. I've got sources here uh, that talk about the firing of the generals and the missing nuclear weapon. I mean, it, it, it was major news. It said, this is low. That's like 10 stories on a normal building, so that's not very high at all, Captain Jeff Long told CBS Baltimore, adding that the chopper is much larger and louder than normal helicopters. The DHS says that it is conducting the test so that authorities can respond more quickly in the event of a dirty bomb or nuclear attack. If sometime in the future you have a reason to be looking for something radiological, it's very necessary to have the original background, said Joseph Kroll of the National Nuclear Security Administration. Yeah, so helicopters are the best way to do this. They said the test will begin today but continue for the next few years, according, according to the report, and don't question the black helicopter. Given the static that, that doesn't, I mean, the may or may not even make its readings public, it'll be interesting to find out if they do. Given the static atmospheric radiation detectors, it goes on, which are far cheaper and less labor-intensive than flying large helicopters are already being used in major cities, some will question whether the low-flying choppers are being used for a dual purpose. Is the low-flying chopper part of preparations for a potential worsening of the Fukushima crisis? Again, it's on the East Coast. Uh, similar questions were asked after the Department of Health and Human Services ordered 14 million doses of potassium iodide. We've covered that many times. It says it was also announced that 19 different government and academic bodies would begin testing seek help, and we reported on that yesterday from California. It says libertarians wary of big government will also see low-flying DHS helicopters as another visceral reminder of the federal agency's increasingly onerous growth, sending a message to the public that Big Brother is watching more closely than ever before. And you do wonder if they're using some of this for that. Um, again, not saying they are, but 
Would anybody be surprised? Anybody know crickets? Nobody. The increasing use of low-flying helicopters in unannounced law enforcement and military exercises has prompted warnings that Americans are being psychologically indoctrinated to accept a militarized police state, and uh, I would not be the least bit surprised. Friends, if you are in Canton, Ohio, go to the Arcadia Grill. Why? Because you're going to get some of the best food you've ever eaten. That's why. I love their ravioli. I wish I could tell you uh, that i give it to you over the, the internet if it was possible. Uh, if you're a breakfast person, they have breakfast, especially Saturday mornings. Go ahead and let Maria know that you I sent you in there. Um, they have a full bar. And if you can get drinks, and it's a little, you might as well be drinking water. It's like piddly drinks. You drink three or four, and you feel like you drank one. Go to the Arcadia Grill. They know how to mix a drink. Um, again, let them know Sam sent you from the correct views. Uh, their phone number, 330-454-6055. Five, five. Three more stories to get to on this part two of two for your massive Fukushima update. Now, again, please remember that uh, I do Fukushima news all month long. I post two or three times a week. Um, I want to make sure I, um, yeah, no, I just want to gloss over it, I guess is what I'm saying. No teleprompter. I didn't want to gloss over it. I cover this off and on throughout the month. So please uh, make sure you uh, subscribe and let others know I'm out here. Natural News, Thomas Henry. Radiation levels at Fukushima plant increases to 800% of the government standard, which, as we all know, has already been raised to unsafe levels. Radiation at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant has now exceeded more than eight times the radiation limits set by the Japanese government, presenting new concerns for problems that many are exas say are exacerbating, and I would be one of those people. This large e largely eclipses the Japanese government's set limit of one microsievert per year, millisievert per year, put in place as part of the officially sanctioned reactor decommissionings plan for the disaster-stricken nuclear plant as safety measure to diminish the level of harmful effects on the surrounding areas so that the exclusion zone can eventually be lifted. Um, how many of you uh, take vitamins and you're going to live a nice long life? Cause see, I'm taking vitamins and I hope to live a nice long life. However, anybody going to live 400 and some million years? Because that's the halftime of plutonium. So in order to diminish the harmful effects of the surrounding areas so that the exclusion zone can be eventually lifted... Would take 431 million years. You got plutonium and uranium there. Do not let them tell you that you can ever move back or go to that area of Japan that is poisoned for all intents and purposes forever. The only person that that isn't forever to is God. According to NHK, Japan Public Broadcaster, the plant was measuring at below the required one MSV per year benchmark back in March 2013. But the increasing erosion of beta rays from the contaminated water, and particularly strontium-90, if you don't know what that is, it's bone cancer waiting to happen, stored in above-ground tanks was spiking these levels. However, the Ashahi Simbun reported, that's a newspaper, that a very high level of 7.8 microsieverts per year was recorded back in May 2013. It says official media accounts blamed the approximately 1,000 above ground storage tanks, explaining that the metal tank containers reportedly amplify the beta rays to create stronger x-rays and thus higher readings. Do you know that they're not even sealed properly? Did you hear yesterday's show where I talk about when you put irradiated water into tanks like this, it creates a whole nother problem with a whole nother uh, radionuclide or another radiological poison is made by it hitting that, the, the metal. Ashahi carried this account of the official explanation. Beta rays released from radioactive strontium and other substances in the water reached the iron and other elements in the storage tank containers to generate x-rays, the official said. So now they have x-raying water piling up on the hill from their leaking power plant, which they should have never built. There should be no nuclear. Um, now that they've done this, you know, right? They've got X-rays beaming all over from here to eternity. 
And they're going over the next 60 years, one of the plans is to pour it all into the ocean, which is already seeing mass death on a level that we've never seen prior. TEPCO and the Japanese government knew about elevated radiation, but didn't bother to tell the public. TEPCO is GE. If you are in a GE stock, pull out of it. Mutual fund, pull out of it. Go to a, uh, um, either invest in gold, silver, or platinum, particularly gold right now, because it's uh, it's selling at almost uh, what it costs to mine it, so it's going to be going through the roof. And uh, infrastructure mutual funds, no GE in that. Government officials admit, as NHK reports, that they have been aware of the issue of beta ray emission for a certain period of time, but have not addressed it due to overriding concerns with the volume of contaminated water. We'll hide one problem, do I amplify another? Some 300 to 400 tons leak daily into the Pacific. Have another piece of tuna. The Ashai Simbun revealed on January 8th that TEPCO had been hiding public disclosure of more than 140 measurements showing excessive strontium levels, proclaiming at the time that they were wrong because they were above the total beta ray numbers in some cases. Company officials insisted that there was no attempt to conceal information, but rather that the concerns were over accuracy. TEPCO claims that it will release corrected numbers by the end of the month after reconciling them for inconsistencies. Yeah, they don't want to let you know how high the number is until they've had a chance to uh, you know, let this die down a little. You've been living there this long. You can keep living there. You're fine. Look. Once again, both the Japanese government and TEPCO, which is GE, officials were complicit in keeping the truth from the public. Both were among the Japanese population and abroad in international circles. That means they lied to us, they lied to Americans, and we are paying the price with high strontium levels. And we didn't even get to know about it. A memorandum of cooperation, or cooperation between the International Atomic Energy Agency and Fukushima and also the Fukai Prefecture was recently revealed, proving that a confidentiality clause exists between the United Nations level Atomic Safety Agency and TEPCO officials, allowing propriety information to be kept from disclosure and to be restricted under classification. They hid it from you. They hid it from you because they don't care about you. This, they care about your dollar, and they care about you buying their damn seafood and living in the house that's poison so you can pay their taxes. Wake up! That goes for people in L.A. and in the West Coast and Hawaii. You cannot live there. This agreement pertains in particular to the decontamination of the Fukushima plant, the waste management of radioactive materials, which they're going to lie about, that's what that means, and the release of surveys on the radiological effect on human health conducted by the Fukushima Medical University. Since public admissions that Fukushima had reached the levels of eight zeros per year, officials had been scrambling to increase monitoring and mitigation strategies. Japan's Nuclear Regulatory Authority has been meeting in recent days to evaluate how, the, how to manage these excessive levels and minimize the amount of escaping radiation as efforts have been made to increase monitoring stations in the surrounding area of the exclusion zone. Yeah, now that it's gotten out, they're going to put these up. And they're going to take forever to put these up. And they're going to take forever to give you the information, just like they've done for like the, what, the last three years now. You guys are still getting juiced, and they're keep on, they, it's just keeping on with the, the lie. And all of you people keep believing it. Hopefully not the ones that tune in regularly to this show. The Nuclear Regulation Authority effectively doubled the number of radiation monitoring devices it had set up, expanding its deployment from 446 to 815. Why didn't they do it sooner? These nearly 400 extra monitors were installed in a reported 12 cities, towns, and villages in the area. Do you guys get the information there? Do you, do you get the news there? Do they, do, they, do they even let you see what the levels are? The devices allow testing of the air just above the ground at 10-minute intervals. Um, last thing it says, a full scale of effects has yet to be seen. As radiation levels continue to increase, that means going up for you Kesha fans, and the control of contaminated water remains an uphill battle. Friends, this is also from RT, the Fukushima ice wall. TEPCO drills freeze wells to stop contaminated groundwater. 
The operator of the crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant is erecting an underground wall of frozen soil, which will hopefully stop radioactive water from running into the sea. However, doubts remain over whether it will fix the leak problem. This is their great idea. TEPCO Electric Power Company pours tons of water into damaged reactors to keep the melted fuel from overheating. But the buildings, which were damaged by the earthquake and tsunami of 2011 and the consequent disaster at the plant, are allowing radioactive material to seep into groundwater and pollute the nearby sea. A pollute uh, everything all the way to Tokyo, not safe for the Olympics kind of pollute. If you go to that Olympics, you have a death wish. In September 2013, the Japanese government announced a plan to drill a row of, a row of wells around the area. A liquid coolant running through the wells will cool the soil around them and form a frozen wall in an attempt to prevent contaminated groundwater from getting into the environment. The work on the wall due to start Wednesday at the number two and number three reactors, Japanese TV station NHK reported. The program to isolate groundwater is to the cost of $320 million in construction plus run costs and is scheduled to be complete by 2015. We're leaking three to 400 tons, tons, mind you, 2,000 pounds, tons of radioactive water into the Pacific that is causing the largest cemetery uh, gathering of dead life ever monitored in the floor of the Pacific Ocean, even as we speak. And they're going to wait till 2015 to get this done. The wall maintained by rows of wells drilled at one meter intervals is to run 500 meters north to south and 200 meters east to west. The Japanese government chose the approach over the more permanent solutions like erecting concrete underground barriers, which do not require a constant operation of freezers and coolant pumps. They said it allows for quick rebuilding of the wall in the case that it is damaged by a new quake. Well, they said there wasn't going to be a quake to cause this, and they don't think there's going to be a quake in the next 40 years. That is a six or higher that will knock over four, and most people think that Unit 4 will fall over with a six. And I pointed out last month that I did the math. I, I did it backwards. I reverse engineered it. There has never been a 40-year period of time that they haven't had a six earthquake in that area. So it's going to miraculously happen now that they're decommissioning. It's just first time in history, right? The plan is not guaranteed to work, is anyone surprised, with some experts fearing the groundwater may end up seeping even deeper once the frozen wall is in place. The soil freezing technology has long been used for civil construction in areas of adamant groundwater, for example, for building subway lines. Friends that are in this field, fill up my comment line. Let me know how you think this is going to work. Uh, it says it is usually done temporary, and there is no record to indicate how reliable the solution would be in the long run. That is to say, 40 freaking years. Fukushima nuclear power plant was crippled. We know that, and it goes over that again. Um... It says it's triggered a massive outcry against nuclear energy and several countries are completely rejecting it, which they need to do in every possible way. Guys, last story of this, my massive Fukushima update. Um, to donate to me, please go to the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give me goes to a better show. I used everything on this camera and anybody who donates, I have no problem showing receipts. Everything you give me goes into this. It's your show. Um, AP.org, U.S. official North Korea nuclear reactor restarted, associated, depressed. Uh, North Korea has followed through on its threat to advance its nuclear weapons program. The top U.S. intelligence official said Wednesday, while a research institute pointed to signs that the communist country is preparing to launch bigger rockets. Their rockets crash. They have the most polluted water f around that plant because of the way they ran it last time. This, by the way, for those of you that follow the show, is the dunce of the day. It goes to the, elite, the president of uh, North Korea, their uh, brilliant leader. Those developments were add to the international concern about the intentions of leader Kim Jong-un, as in un, uh, unintelligent. Amidst 
can't sign that neg the negotiations to curb North Korea's nuclear ambitions will s resume anytime soon. If this goes red, and it will, because North Korea can't do anything, right? I mean, they make Iran look like geniuses. Um, again, Iran wanting to build a nuclear power plant in an uh, active earthquake zone. Um, no launch that North Korea ever has works. Every foray into nuclear, there has been a environmental disaster. And now we're going to go ahead and reopen the power plant there. We don't have to worry about North Korea because they're going to do themselves in. They are going to melt this down. They're going to create a mess. The problem is when you add that to the meltdowns slash throughs that are going on in Fuku, it could be the end of the Orient as we know it. Hence, it gets the dunce of the day. In written testimony to the Senate Intelligence Committee, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper said North Korea has expanded the size of the uranium enrichment facility in Nyinboyan nuclear complex and restart a new reactor that was used for plutonium production before it was shut down in 07 because it was spreading death. Those findings concur with assessments published last summer by think tanks that monitor the North Korea's nuclear program using commercial satellite imaging. Uh, South Korean intelligence also said that the reactor has restarted. That's a mess for them. Um... Even this dumb Un's father was more intelligent than this. Even he had enough sense to shut it down. And he was a few fries short of a happy meal himself. North Korea's nuclear weapons and missile program pose a serious threat to the United States and to the security environment of East Asia, Clapper said. He said the North is committed to developing a long-range missile that can threaten the U.S. Actually, that's not fear-mongering. They really do want to do that. Um, again, they're about as intelligent as a fish, so it's going to take a minute. Uh, again, the leadership, not the people. I'm not insulting the Korean people. Um, but the people in North Korea are kept stupid by their government. North Korea announced its intention to adjust and alert its existing nuclear facilities after an underground atomic test explosion last February, backtracking from denuclearization commitments. Is anyone shocked? That announcement came during a period of high tension when North issued threats of a nuclear strike on the U.S., Tensions have eased with since then, and the North says it wants to improve ties with South Korea. The North has said it's willing to resume without preconditions the Six Nation aid for disarmament talks for which it withdrew in 09. Just let them nuke themselves. Uh, it's not really. Uh, North Korea is denouncing upcoming U.S.-South Korean military exercises and appears to be moving away from the U.S.'s demand for a concrete demonstration of its commitment to denuclearization before the talks can restart. This is like a baby with a hand grenade. Satellite photos from this month show that the North is modifying its main launch site to handle rockets 10 meters taller than the 30 meter one that it fired into space a year ago. According to an analysis by 38 North, the website of the North Korean Institute at John Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. Because of construction, the launch pad will not be available for launches until March or April at the earliest, anal analysis says. The launch of the three-stage Unaha three-rocket into space from the West Coast site in Sohei in December of 2012 was viewed by the U.S. as a worrying sign in the North's development for ballistic missile technology. Quite likely they were hoping for an uh, uh, EMT to take out our electronics. With the North moving closer toward the goal of nuclear-tipped missile that can reach North America, North Korea said the launch was part of a peaceful space program. Yeah, that goes along with everything else they just said. Um, I know that America is not the pinnacle of peace or anything. I never said it was, but North Korea is just dreadful. In its analysis, 38 North detected construction of various set of facilities at Sohei that suggest North Korea is preparing it to handle the road mobile intercontinental ballistic missile known as the KN-08. There may have been a test of the KN-08 rocket engine in the past month, the analysis said. North Korea's activities give us advanced warning of a significant escalation in Pyongyang's production of weapons of mass destruction, said Joel Witt. Uh, what's worrisome here is that these are, it's Korea that's saying it. It's not like our country's running around saying that they're saying it. Uh, both China and North Korea have uh, given some indication that they could want to be uh, nuking us, but it's North Korea that is uh, more likely to be nuking itself and its neighbors. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. 
thank you for tuning in to the Massive Fukushima update. Sorry Google screwed up it for everyone watching live, but now you both get the HD. So share it. Let everybody know I'm out here. It's a great help. Um, go to the mediaspeaks.com and look at the work of Kyle Court, D Lake, and myself. We